Hello everyone, this is Jehu and welcome back to Jehu's World. Now, I, this is day 11 of me with a cereal cast on. I'm completely fine, I have no pain and the itch is gone. Praise the Lord. So now, today I am going to be telling you some points that I wrote down that I got from Matthew chapter 4. Let's get started. Now, Today I want to share how Jesus, who himself was the word of God, used a written word when he was tempted at his physically weakest point. Remember, Satan brings most temptations our way when we are feeling weak in some way, emotionally or physically. But if we have been meditating on God's word, like Joshua did when he was commanded to do it, in order to have a successful life that was, then we can use the word of God to, as a weapon and to use it to negate the temptations that Satan sends us and the attacks that he sends our way. Now, Jesus who is God in human body is also the word of God. The Bible also says the word of God is a sword of the spirit. And speaking of that, take a look at this wooden carving of Jesus that when I was nearly five, five years old, I got with my family in Israel. Now, it, he's holding the cross. And later, after, a bit after we bought, bought it, the Holy Spirit gave me a revelation about this cross. Now, I looked at it and then I realised something. I turned it around. It looks like a sword. Now, the revelation I got was that the cross of Jesus was actually turned into the sword, sword of the Spirit. It's now our weapon to use against Satan. Now, I am told my family that after, and I am going to be keeping. Keep this figure of Jesus holding this sword from now on in the video. Now, in Matthew chapter 4 is the account of Jesus being led by the Holy Spirit to fast from food in the wilderness for 40 days. He must have been pretty weak physically. Now, Satan came and three times tried to tempt Jesus by challenging him to one turn stones into bread which would break his fast and two by throwing himself off the cliff with the excuse that angels would protect him and he used a scripture from psalm 91 to say that and so he was basically trying to get jesus to commit suicide and three he tried to get him to worship him he tried to get jesus to worship himself not himself, to worship him. Now, Jesus, who is the word of God, resisted each temptation by using the written word that he had stored inside of him. Because he's still human, he had, even though he's the word of God, he has to store the written word inside of him, since he's 100% human too. Now, Jesus showed Satan who the real boss was. And Jesus also set an example for us of how to deal with the temptations of Satan by using the word of God and showing him that we have authority over him. We cannot do so if we have not been reading the word and meditate, if we have not been reading and meditating on the word and storing it inside us. Now, let us store the word of God in our heart. It is our spiritual bread and we must have daily breakfast, lunch and dinner of the world. If we want Satan to flee and to experience divine intervention, we have to do that. Even King David said in Psalm 119 that he stores the word of God inside him. Now, to all the Christians out there that are, reading, that are watching this video, let's all do that. Let's store the word of God inside us and carry on reading and try to learn more from the word. And if there's anyone watching...
watching this video that actually isn't a born again Christian but would like to become one, please repeat this after me and mean it from your heart. Dear Jesus, I believe you died on the cross and I believe that you after that rose from the dead and I accept you as my Lord and Saviour and I give my heart to you. Now, if you just said that, then that means that, and if you just said that from your heart, that means you have become a born again Christian. Congratulations. Read the words, store inside you, and carry on following the Lord. Now, I hope you've all been enjoying this video, and thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, stay tuned for my next video. Bye.